call to the other off level. Speaker, kia ora, kia ora tātou ka toa i tēnei pō. Tātou ko hoki mai ki rote te whare pāre mata. Mr. Speaker, I'm told that today's uh, Christchurch Press has all of the reasons why we need to amend um, the Alcohol Advisory Council Act in relation to the levy imposed on all alcoholic beverages manufactured or imported into Aotearoa. Uh, it says that the, the paper talked about a study of 12,000 young people found uh, that the, the onset of drinking, quote, it goes up very steeply from age 12 and their children as young as the age of four are trying alcohol, end of quote. Uh, four years old, Mr Speaker, for goodness sake, four years. It seems that child's play extends now to having a drink, having a glug, uh, liquor that's meant actually for adult lips. In response to these um, shocking headlines, Tuari Portiki, a spokesperson for the Alcohol Advisory Com um, Council, confirmed that the age at which uh, people first drank had been steadily decreasing. So this isn't just an isolated headline, a one-off story. In any weekend, and Rotorua is no different, in most towns in the nation we find that our young people are out drinking themselves to drunkenness to a level where they are probably would describe themselves as getting wasted. That's what they call it, getting wasted. Uh, we say that probably it's more wasted potential. Uh, we think that it's a pretty outrageous that alcohol and drugs are involved to such a large extent in youth crisis situations as has been uh, spoken about and, and written about in newspapers, in particular of the more recent times. The lowered purchasing age and the prevailing attitude of, of a society that associates alcohol with fun and freedom is having an impact on our communities and the Māori Party, along with our other colleagues in the House tonight, uh, say that we need to look at and instigate strategies to address matters uh, to do with getting wasted. Mr Speaker, the negative consequences associated with underage drinking, especially the pattern of heavy binge drinking that many minors engage in, are pretty substantial. And the Māori Party has always suggested that, we should, that, that sh there should be a variety of strategies, both legislative and non-legislative, to reduce the overall supply of alcohol to young people, to limit their drinking and its associated harms. Now, we know that to stem the tide, uh, on this sort of um, desperate problem of binge, binge drinking uh, by young people. Uh, we can't just put up ad hoc proposals in isolation from, uh, as other speakers have said, from the overall drinking culture of the nation. And so this bill, we think, is in the right direction, is heading in the right direction in terms of putting in place uh, different approaches to address those who have responsibility, have the responsibility of purchasing and supplying alcohol to our young people. Mr Speaker, the bill proposes to calculate the levy for each product according to an alcohol classification ban stream, I'm told, and, and seen on the, on the bill, similar to the approach used by the New Zealand Customs Service to collect alcohol excise and excise equivalent duty. A dollar amount per litre would be set according to the beverage's alcohol content or deemed alcohol content. Those with a higher alcohol content will contribute a higher proportion of the levy. Um, it's not a quick fix, one stop, catch all of, uh, one stop catch all to the issues that I've touched on to improve uh, industry compliance and responsibility and to put the focus squarely at the feet of alcohol barons, uh, uh, the, the alcohol industry. In many ways it's just tidying up the reg regulations, making the new system easier to operate. Mr Speaker, five years ago, uh, 2004 Ministry of Health review of the levy setting mechanisms found that the way that the levy is calculated and apportioned is outdated and very, uh, well, overly complex. The levy calculation system used to be very complex. Some, was, uh, some were uh, calculated by volume, that's litres, and some alcohol by, by volume, that is the percentage of alcohol per beverage. So the purpose of this legislative amendment is to get, to get it all calculated on the basis of alcohol by volume to achieve a standard measure and a consistent approach applied across all alcoholic beverages. What is good for wine and cider will be good for beer and spirits. It's not about the brand that we're drinking, but about the amount of alcoholic content that we're consuming. And these changes, we believe, are all for the good. In essence, Mr Speaker, the changes will ensure that Alcoholic beverages with a higher a volume of alcohol will contribute a higher proportion to the levy. Uh, but it does little to address the four-year-olds replacing fresh up with lion red. It does little to address the fact that young people are more than twice as likely to suffer from alcohol-related harms 
and other age groups. Uh, we know that the issues are pretty overwhelming. Mr Speaker, the drinking behaviour of young people is all too frequently ending up in, in road trauma, violence, depression, suicide, disrupted relationships, high-risk sexual activity, delinquent behaviour, decreased productivity at work, increased absent, ad, absentism and educational failure. And I suppose in seeing some of the images on TV just recently about what young people get up to um, is all adding fuel to the fire. Updating the, and simplifying the current mechanisms for setting the Alcohol Advisory Council levy won't solve all of this raft of problems. They're not problems which will be addressed by one solution. They require a multifaceted, uh, multifaceted multi-pronged holistic approach. Uh, Mr Speaker, ALEC themselves has pl have plenty more ideas to share with the House if we truly, we're truly committed to uh, doing something about this complex, the complex problems associated with alcohol misuse and abuse. ALEC itself was established over three decades ago in 1976 following the report of the Royal Commission of Inquiry into the sale of liquor, and that commission recommended establishing a permanent council whose aim was to encourage responsible use of alcohol and minimise its misuse. And so it's come to pass. Mr Speaker, ALEC's key objective uh, is, in all of its activities is to promote moderation in the use of alcohol, discourage and reduce the misuse of alcohol and minimise harm resulting from the misuse of alcohol. The amendments recommended by the Health Committee and the new system of alcohol classification bans may have some impact, we hope, uh, on the range of alcohol, uh, alcoholic beverages manufactured in or imported into Aotearoa. As we understand it, the revised levy standard provisions for the ALEC levy won't necessarily affect the price that consumers currently pay for alcoholic beverages. But uh, these changes may influence the proportion that each type of uh, alcoholic beverage uh, contributes towards the ALEC levy. Uh, we, the Māori Party, would be interested to hear from the Minister as to exactly what impact and the scale of the impact that we can expect from the changes to be introduced today. We intend to continue to talk of the impact uh, that alcohol abuse is having on our communities, along with the dreaded P epidemic and, of course, smoking. Mr Speaker, we believe that the significant changes are needed to the sale of Liquor Act. That Act has a predominantly business focus where alcohol is a mere commodity to be bought and sold. It's our firm belief in the Māori Party that the Act needs uh, an increased public health focus and a focus on reducing, uh, reducing alcohol-related harms. That is, addressing the range of physical and sexual violence, accidents, crime, arrest factors that have been uh, mentioned before. We note the, the, the statement from the Minister of Justice that connects alcohol to the rising tide of crime, and we would go further and suggest that addressing alcohol misuse would uh, must go, uh, alcohol abuse must go across all sectors, all portfolios, all age groups. So we in the Māori Party will suggest the changes to the proposed, um, uh, well, to the proposed regime. But we, sig we, signal, we signal that, sorry, well, the, the, the Māori Party will support the, the changes to the proposed regime, but we will signal our concern about so many other issues, such as excess uh, quantities of alcohol being consumed by our young people. Uh, we know that fixing the levy is but a partial solution. Real solutions are likely to be more effective when coordinated across the board in a multi-level uh, approach in society. Real solutions will involve stakeholders at all levels. And most of all, uh, Mr Speaker, real solutions will involve our families, our whānau, and that must engage our whānau. Uh, we will support this bill at the second reading and look forward to the prompt and effective hearing of the wider issues in front of the House.